Hey fellow vault dwellers, in today's video I'm going to tell you guys about the new bloody commander build. Yes, I made a new improved one what does more damage and you are more stealthier. So let's get into this. So let's go to the punch card machine. So your edit special is going to be exactly like this. Strength 6, Perception 10, Endurance 2, Charisma 5, Intelligence 8, Agility 15, and Luck 10. You're going to put all your points like that. Now, the legendary per cards needs to be max, so you need to max all of them. So it's going to be Perception, Legendary Perception, Legendary Luck, Follow Through, Strength, Endurance, and intelligence so let's get into the build okay so in strength it's going to be bandolier so your ammo weighs 90 percent less bare arms so heavy guns weigh less because i like to carry a lot of heavy guns if you do want to replace it you can replace it with strong back level 3, so you get 30%, well not 30%, 30 more carry weight or steady frame, and then you can just put one point some, in something else if you want to. But, so, you're going to need Barbarian level 3, every single shrink points it adds 4 more damage resistance. Then arms keepers, so your commander weapons or rifleman weapons weighs 75% less. So you want master commander maxed, also commando and expert commander maxed. Then you want ground pounder at level 2 or just 2 stars into it. You're gonna have tank killer at maxed and then you're gonna have concentrated fire at level one now let's get into endurance so endurance is adamant skeleton so your limb damage is reduced fireproof so you take 45 percent less damage and from fire and then rather cool you could also replace uh, adamant skeleton with chem fiend if you're gonna run chems so Let's get into Charisma. So, Charisma is going to be inspirational. So you get a 15% bonus of XP. Stranger Numbers. And then also Travel Agent. So you spend fewer caps while traveling. Now let's get into Intelligence. You're going to have Nerd Rage. Batches included. Scrapper. Gunsmith, and I just like to run a level 1 hacker. Or you can also run... The other perk card you can also run is First Aid. Now, in Agility, we're going to have Action Girl, Action Boy, depends what your gender is, Escape Artist, and Adrenaline. We're going to have... Cooperative, COVID operative, sorry, I can't spell it correct, and sneak. So, COVID operative is going to stack with follow through. So, that means 90% more damage while sneaking. And, luck, you're going to have better critical, so your critical damage does 100% more. Class freak, you're going to have curator, so if you use magazines or bubbleheads, last two times longer. Critical Savvy, Starch Jeans, and lastly, Bloody Mess. So you do 15% more damage. Okay. So, this is how my stats look like. It is 32 Strength, 38 Perception, 10 Endurance, 25 Charisma, 45 Intelligence, 37 Luck, I mean agility and 32 luck. So you're going to want as your mutations a general reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, empath, 
Herbie Warview on to get by XP, XP Head Mentality, Marsupial, Scaly Skin, Speed Demon, and Talons. I will link a video in my comments of how to grind XP buffs if you're Herbivore. Now, another thing you're gonna need is the backpack. You're gonna need a chemist backpack if you want your chems to weigh 90% less. You get it at the crater, in the crater core. So usually where Meg stands at, uh, you're gonna go in there and you should see the person called Montimer, if I'm correct, that's what his name is. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Then you also want to get your radio reputation at maxed if you want to get him. So, Montimer, sorry. So, that's his name. You can get your reputation maxed by doing a reputation glitch. You can search it up YouTube and get it from there. Now, the backpack is going to cost 350 gold billion. It's the chemist backpack mod. So, another thing you're going to need is you're going to need this is shield of flannel shirt and jeans. But I'm just showing my mods for the backpack. As you can see, the shield of flannel shirt and jeans give you plus three charisma, intelligence, and then plus one luck. I will be uploading a video how to get it, but it's really rare to get the shielded lining for the sh flannel shirt and jeans. Okay, so let's get into the testing. I'm currently at Vestech, so we can kill some super mutants. So the buff suit I'm going to be using for this video is the Ballistic Bok. You get improved improve fifth damage by 15%, but increases condition cost by 15% for 15 minutes. Next is Psycho Buff. It does 25 plus more damage, plus 3 strength, plus 3 endurance, and 65 more HP. For three minutes next is overdrive so what that does is it does 15 percent more damage and 30 percent critical damage for three minutes then it's psychotats what does 25 percent more damage 15 damage resist and three perception for three minutes so the weapons i'm going to be using is the two shot 50 critical damage 25 this fat's action point cost handmade. As you can see, that's all the mods you need. Powerful automatic receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, swift magazine, reflex sight, and suppressor. Also, I'm going to be using a B2525 fixer. It has also the mods are powerful automatic receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, swift magazine, reflex sight, dot version, and then suppressor. As you can see, for both that weapons, I have the AP cost of 3. Then next is the B, bloody 50 critical and 90 reduced weight handmade. It just takes prime automatic receiver. That's the only difference uh, between the two. But it does still do a lot of damage. Then lastly is my quarter explosive less AP fix I'm going to be using. Same mods as the B2525. Uh, and it also has... AP cost of 3. So first we're going to test without that buffs. As you can see with this I'm doing about 100 to 410 damage each shot. As you see there because I'm a bit close I did from 300 to 666 or 675 damage. That's if you're a bit closer. Okay let's just kill this few super mutants. As you can see, it holds 80 ammo. This is a really expensive weapon. One of the hardest weapons to get in this game, but luckily I got my hands on it uh, through a bit of trading with some people. So, now that we're in here, we're going to use the ballist... Well, we're going to first test this weapon without the ballistic box. As you can see, it does 91 to 120 damage. Or 126 to 141 if you're close. Okay, now let's use the B50C 90 reduced weight handmade. I'm really cl close. 
that's first with standing from 250 to 500 and this is while crouching 344 to 560 now the b2525 pixel let's test this so a standing to 55 to 590 if i read that correct um now let's go here okay now we're going to do this while crouching as you can see the stick per card makes it 75 percent harder to be detected but as you can see it's 373 to 600 damage with this weapon it's i would rather recommend having a bloody 25 25 handmade or bloody 50 c 25 so that's bloody 50 critical sap I also forgot if you're going to use an explosive weapon, put Demolition Expert on instead of Gunsmith. Okay, let's see how much this does now. On the dogs, it doesn't do that much, but as you can see, while standing, it does 418 to anywhere, if I re read that correctly, 700 damage. Let's try this while crouching. I did two. 92 to 500 if I read that correct. I didn't see well, but let's pop the buffs Okay, now while crouching 162 to 300 damage with that weapon the B2525 200 to 422 no never mind it's 422 to 652. Sorry. I read that wrong This is a really good weapon to use But let's taste the b50 c 90 reduced weight as you can see i'm just waiting to get some super mutants okay it does 390 to 700 damage if i read that correctly but it is a really good weapon but let's test the quad explosive less ap fixer So, as you can see, I'm doing 326 to 800 damage, what I've read there. Um, and yeah, this weapon is really good. It's it's a really rare uh, weapon to get, but I kind of like it over my B2525 fixer. But all the commander weapons are uh, as followed like this. I'm going to be reading it to you guys. So you can use all of these weapons. The Alien Disintegrator, Assault Rifle, Combat Rifle, the Fixer of course, uh, the Submachine Gun, Railway, Radium Rifle. That's all the Commander weapons if I'm correct. If you do know more than that, just tell me in the comments. But I'm going to be showing you guys a bit of gameplay with just these weapons. And I'll see you guys now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a nice day peace